And still an active scene more than six hours later. Take a look, crime tape, yellow tape still blocking off that crime scene. You can see police are still here as well. And at last check, the body was also here as the family grieves tonight. This has just stunned the Newport Beach community. Shocking violence in Newport Beach. A robbery turned deadly at the Fashion Island Mall. Police say a 69-year-old woman and her husband were outside Barnes & Noble around 3.30 p.m. when two suspects confronted them. It was a struggle, and uh, they were attempting to rob them, at which point the two suspects attempted to get back into a white sedan. One of the suspects ended up fleeing on foot, firing a few rounds, and when the vehicle fled the scene, on its way out, the car ran over the victim, killing her. Authorities say the third suspect jumped back in, and they all sped off, leading police on a wild, high-speed, multi-city chase, ending in Southgate, where they jumped out and ran. One, spotted by Sky Fox, hid behind a trash can. All three suspects were arrested. Oh, Frankly, to hell with these guys. They came into our city knowing that they were going to commit crime, and a woman is dead today because of it. This could happen to any of us. Delivery driver Esmail Hamad says he picks up orders from the upscale mall almost every day and thought the victim was having a heart attack. He never imagined she had been killed. I was driving in toward the, the atrium entrance, and suddenly I found someone on the ground, and someone was given CPR. This never happens here. Like, I rarely see a cop car here. Only, only security guys, so, yeah. It's going to take some while to process. Regular visitors say they're stunned and horrified. We never want to see anything like this in any neighborhood, not just this neighborhood, in any neighborhood. And no one should lose their life like this at all. And I'm very saddened by it. I'm, I'm devastated by it. The name of the victim has not yet been released, and we're told her husband was not hurt in all of this. Now, police say they are confident they have everyone involved currently in custody, so there's no current threat to the public. Those suspects are likely going to be facing robbery and potentially murder charges. Reporting live from Newport Beach, I'm Chelsea Edwards. I'll send it back to you in the studio. I'm so glad they got caught, Chelsea.